Hey guys, what's going on? Mrs. Intensity here. And today I'm going to be talking about toxins that are hidden in your food. Now we all know that if you look behind at the labels of your packages, right? You would see words that you cannot even pronounce. Now, I don't think that's food, really. So, you know, here are a list of the top set toxins that are located in your food. The first one is sodium aluminum sulfate and potassium aluminum sulfate now these are used in processed cheese products baked goods and microwave popcorns among other packaged goods these ingredients are like linked to adverse reproductive neurological behavioral and developmental effects now the solution to this is to be sure to read the ingredients list to avoid this toxin medically modified organisms we all know about gmos all right but let's get a little bit deeper into GMOs. Now GMOs is found in about 70% of processed foods with corn, soy, cotton seed, canola, and sugar beet based ingredients. GMOs may cause organ damage, gastrointestinal and immune disorders, accelerated aging and infertility. Now the solution to this is to go organic, right? The next one is dioxins. These highly toxic pollutants accumulate in fatty foods and are linked to cancer, liver damage, birth defects, and endocrine and immune disruption. The best solution to this is to choose low fat or no fat foods, all right? Or just simply just be um, plant-based. The next one is sodium nitrate slash nitrates, all right? Now sodium nitrates and nitrates are used in deli foods like processed meats. These preservatives are linked to many types of cancer. Beware of uncured and no added nitrates slash nitrite products. They often use celery juice instead, which is high in nitrates. All right, the solution to this is to obviously read the ingredient list to avoid this particular toxin. The sixth one is pesticides. Pesticides are used to raise and treat produce and other products. These poisons often leave behind residues. They've been linked to everything from cancer to birth defects. Use organic foods that are required to be synthetic and pesticide free. Now last but not least, and we all probably know about this one. If you don't know it, you will know now. This one is recombinant bovine growth hormone, okay? This hormone is given to cows to increase milk productions. Now IGF-1 is a significant factor in breast, prostate, and colon cancers. Choose plant-based milks or plant-based dairy um, products. I have a video of my top five favorite dairy plant-based dairy products. Check it out and I will talk to you guys later. This is my video guys. Thank you for listening in. See ya. Bye.